Hi, I'm Tom and in this Revit tutorial I will show you how to set up the last step of your stair so that it could either end up with a thread and the last thread is part of the stair construction or it could end up with a riser and the last step is part of the upper level floor. I've prepared this sample file with two levels. Here I've got level 1 and level 2. And I will demonstrate the stair behavior here. So we will start with creating the stairs on level 1. And the important thing is to know that there are three main categories of stairs. Assembled stairs, cast in place stairs and precast stairs. These two assembled stairs and cast in place stairs behave the same way. This precast stair it behaves a little bit differently, but the, the, main, the main principles stay the same. So I will demonstrate mainly with the monolith, monolithic stair. So let's start with monolithic stair. And I will create a run from, I will click here, create run up here, and I will align it to the, to the floor and finish creating of the stair. Let's also delete the railings so we can properly see the steps. And in your default Revit template, you can see that the stair ends with the riser. It's the same when I would create uh, and when I would create assembled stair. Again, I will start at level one, create assembled stair, align it up to here. And again, let's delete, uh, let's delete the railings. And you can see it ends with riser. You actually cannot see it, but when I hide the floor, you can see it ends with the riser. The riser here is not constructed because, because the riser is part of the, part of the thread. The default behavior of the Precast stair is a bit different. So when I create it here again, and I will disable the railings, I will choose none. Again, here I will align it up to the floor. You can see that this one ends with the thread, but uh, I will delete it now because the principles that I will show on, on, the, on the precast stair Oh, sorry, cast in place stair will be the same. So let's also delete this assembled stair and let's create a new, a new cast in place stair. And we'll again create it here, align like so. And now you can see that because we created the precast stair below before. The default behavior of the stair has changed. This is sometimes quite confusing, but I've created these two stairs the same way and they were created in a different way. And now I will show you how to adjust them. So if I wanted this stair to end like this with, with the riser, I will select the stair, I will go to edit stairs. Now it's important to select the run again. And with the run selected, here in the properties panel, I've got end with riser and it's unchecked because it ends with thread. So if I check end with riser, it seems that nothing is happening. When I click this, this finish edit mode, it just warns, warns me that something is wrong, but nothing changed with, with these steps. The thing is, if I go back to back to edit stairs and I go to edit run, the thing is that if you unchange this end with riser to either way, you have to, if you zoom in here at level one, and I click here, you can see that there's number 23 plus one. If I uncheck the end with riser, there's 23 steps. I check end with riser, that's 23 plus one. The plus one means that there is one more step. 
and we want to have one less step so we have to adjust the number of steps with this blue dot be careful not to move this uh, this blue arrow just with this blue dot i will click and drag it up to here and the number of steps adjusts and now i just have to because there's a space here between the between the the floor and the stair so i have to align it move the whole stair and then i click finish edit mode and you can see that now the stair is ending with the riser as i want it now if i want to do the reverse thing it ends with riser and i wanted it to end with tread i will select the stairs go to edit stairs now important thing i have to select the run i uncheck end with riser and this is what confuses most of people after i end, uncheck end with riser that's not finished job i have to again zoom in here and move the blue dot and make it one step further and also now because it would end like this which might be what you want but i don't want it here i will align the stair like this and then finish edit mode so this covers the basics of the last stair setup and i will show you a few more things that come with this and the first thing i will show you is the numbering of the stairs so when i when i number the tread uh, the tread all the treads you I will number both of these you can see that here the last uh, last tread is numbered and it's basically the floor it depends on the code of your country whether you want to have this 23rd numbered or not if you don't want to have it numbered you can select the the annotation and you can see here the tag type is riser and if you change it to thread it will only number the threads okay here when you end with thread it doesn't matter whether you've got the tag type riser or thread it's the same because this last thread is part of the is part of the stair another useful thing is to know the default behavior of the last step because you could see that when from my default Revit template I created the first cast in place stair it ended up with riser whereas now when I create the same type of uh, cast in place stair when I create it it doesn't end up with riser it ends up with thread how do I how do I now I would have to adjust it if I wanted to have it this way how do I do it straight away to end up with a riser or with a thread it's a bit hidden in the stair creation so when I create stair and before I'm creating the run here in the drop down menu under the type selection I've got stair new stairs runs and 3d view I click the new stairs runs and here I can check or uncheck the default behavior of the new new stairs so when I check and with riser now you can see again I will align to here it ends with riser by default and I don't have to go through the tedious creating of the stair and then adjusting it back so that it's according to what I want it's also good to know the differences between the types of stairs so I told you at the beginning that the assembled stair and casting stair uh, behave the same way and I can set up the if it ends with riser or begins with a riser but here so here when I change to assembled stair the setting is the same it ends with riser as I've selected previously but if I change it to precast stair and I take a look at the new stairs the default setup has changed automatically because the precast stair always ends with the riser so this is I guess hard-coded 
and you cannot change this default behavior you can change it uh, afterwards but it behaves behaves a bit quirky so uh, the 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 precast there is always meant to is always meant to end with thread okay so this is it about the setting up of the last step of your stair i hope this helps and take care